Hey everybody, it's Dr. Steven here with Simply Physio, and today we're just making a video for our shoulder pain um, section that we've been going through. So we have some shoulder diagnostics that are going out for people um, to come in, just uh, let us uh, help them a little bit with their shoulder pain. But for the time being, um, I'm making this video for people that have been asking, what do I do about shoulder pain whenever I go to sleep? It's a very common thing. And honestly, it's, um, it can come from a bunch of different reasons why you're having the pain. Maybe it's from the bone, uh, you have a bone spur, maybe you have some tendonitis in the rotator cuff, um, whatever the situation is, um, it sometimes it can be really painful and really tough to go to sleep at night. So a couple of tips, some things that I've picked up along the way and learned from Dr. John Mark as well um, that I'm going to share with you if this applies to you. So um, the first thing is really try to get into a routine whenever you go to bed, all right? So a lot of people I talk to, you know, they either are up until midnight one night, trying to go to bed at nine the next night, up past midnight the following night, you get the point. So this can kind of create um, an unstable or unsteady um, sleeping routine, and it's hard for your body to adjust. But if you're really trying to keep, um, keep a, a routine going, so every night you're in bed, 9.30 to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever it is, stay consistent with that, and that will help your body wind down and become tired and want to go to sleep whenever that time arrives. So that's tip number one. Um, tip number two is a very common, very easy thing to think of, and it's don't sleep on that shoulder if it bothers you to sleep on it. And it sounds simple, um, but it can really drastically change what you're experiencing at night. So uh, let's say if it's my right shoulder that hurts, I would sleep on the left shoulder. And especially if you're having some rotator cuff issues, what you can do is actually tuck a pillow up under the right shoulder if it's hurting. So I'm actually gonna demonstrate that for you with this table. And so if you just wanna come around this side here. So my right shoulder's really been bothering me, so I wanna sleep on the left shoulder. So something very simple like this, and having the pillow underneath the other one, the other shoulder, and that really just alleviates the tension of the rotator cuff, as well as if you're getting any pinching underneath um, the bones in the shoulder, it can help alleviate some of that stress. Also, you may be thinking, well, how do I stop from rolling on the other side? Um, you can try experimenting with putting a pillow behind your back, which is gonna prevent you from trying to roll over. Or you could switch um, positions in your bed with your partner so where they're behind you. Um, so it makes it harder for you to roll back onto the other shoulder. So that's the second tip. Third tip would easily just be try meditating um, or practice some mindfulness or some breathing techniques before you go to bed. Uh, that can really help wind down just the nervous system in general. Throughout a stressful day, uh, maybe you had a hard day at work, you're just really, really busy. Whenever it comes time for bed, it's hard to wind down. And we end up holding a lot of tension in the neck, a lot of tension in the shoulder, and it's hard to relax whenever you lay there. Um, at night, everything's quiet. You just really tend to now focus on that tension in the shoulder, which can just kind of add gas to that fire um, and just make the pain really, really ramp up. So whatever techniques that you find that really help, I know there's a lot of apps out there that you can use to really help um, breathing techniques as well as mindfulness. The fourth thing, try implementing some easy stretches. Um, whatever you have found to be valuable for you. Just don't do them right before you go to bed. We don't wanna to be too ramped up like we just talked about before you go to bed, but a couple hours, um, build it into your routine for bedtime. Um, a couple hours before, uh, before you go to sleep, just eat nice and easy, not trying to create any kind of pain, but we wanna bring blood flow to that area, which can help with healing as well as help with um, some pain that you might be experiencing prior to going to bed. So nice, easy exercises. And then the last thing, if none of this seems to be helping you, um, please get the shoulder checked out, whether that is with us here at Simply Physio, come give us a call, um, let us check it out, um, talk to your primary care provider, whatever it is, um, reach out. You do not have to go through this alone. You do not have to suffer alone. And we'd be more than happy to help you with uh, one of these shoulder diagnostic sessions. So um, hopefully those tips help you and get you a little bit more sleep at night. 
and um, reach out at Simply Physio and give us a call and we would be more than happy to help you all. Bye.